So, welcome everybody once again. Uh, thank you for all your, all your answers. So we have seen that you're from different countries, from different um, uh, cities following us. It's really a great pleasure to see this. Welcome, welcome to Tunisia, uh, Algeria, Libya, and also Morocco. My name is Salah Nejah. I'm the deputy director of the DRD regional office in Tunis. And I'm very pleased to pass the next 60 minutes together with you. And today we have a very special topic. It's a special topic and it's also a very important topic for all of uh, you, uh, all, all of uh, the uh, interested parties who are willing to do an application for a DRD scholarship. Because since, since a couple of years now, you need to do your application on uh, our special DRD portal. It's a portal where you need to submit your applications, your, your documents, and if you will not follow the steps, if you technically are not able to follow the steps, if you have difficulties, if, um, if, if, if you do not know how to do it, you will not be able to apply for a scholarship, even if you are well qualified. And it's a pity if, uh, if you will miss such a chance. That's why every year by the end of August, we offer this kind of um, online seminar uh, to all of you to explain you a little bit um, the steps, um, to explain you how to do it and to give you maybe also some, um, some recommendations and some, um, some infos. Before we begin, I just would like to inform you that our um, online seminar um, will be available on our YouTube channel and will be recorded and, um, and uh, it will be available on a couple of days on our YouTube channel and we'll write you the link uh, in the chat box and uh, in this way you can also check maybe the other um, presentations um, that we have offered uh, during the, the, the last months. Um, during my presentation, you can uh, use the chat, ask all your questions, and we will try at the end of my presentation to answer all of your questions. Of course, we will check if the time will allow it, and I will be, I will try to be as as fast as possible, and uh, in order to give you all really the opportunity to ask your questions and to have this platform um, for all your um, inquiries. Um, last information we will offer you at the end of the presentation, um, two info sheets, one brochure, brochure and one, uh, one info sheet, um, and this will be um, available for you. You need to download it before we close the, um, uh, the presentation. I think my voice is clear. I check my colleague who is the technical support. Um, if you have some technical problems, maybe my colleague will give you uh, one tip or a recommendation. Normally the sound is clear. Um, and if you will miss parts of this presentation, it doesn't uh, matter because it will be available on YouTube in a couple of days. Normally we will try to, um, to, to, to put it there as soon as possible because of the uh, soon deadline that we will have. This will be the content of today, so it's not, uh, it's really a small presentation that I will do. I give you some information about the organization I represent, some information about our funding um, programs, and then I will give you some suggestions and information about how to do an application about in, on our portal. And that's it. The rest is for your questions. DAD is short for Deutscher Akademischer Austauschdienst in German. In English, we would say German Academic Exchange Service. So we are an independent organization and our members are universities, research institutes, but also student bodies. Our headquarters is located in Bonn. Bonn is the former capital of Germany. And you can see on this uh, picture on, your, uh, on the right side, one of our buildings in the headquarters in Bonn. Bonn. And uh, we have beside this um, headquarters in Bonn, a second branch office uh, in, in Berlin, in the capital of Germany, and lots of other structures in more than 60 countries. So we have um, branch offices, we have information points, and we have also information centers. 
and we are very proud to be one of the biggest scholarship organizations worldwide. In 2022, we offered more than 145,000 grants to Germans in order to go abroad all over the world. And also on the other sides, we offered scholarships to foreigners to come to Germany, always with um, um, with the um, with the target to to study or research there. In our region, we have a branch office, a regional branch office. This is a regional office that is not only um, available for Tunisia, but also Libya, Algeria and Morocco. But we are located in Tunis, in the capital of Tunisia. Beside our office, we also have lectures. Lecturers who present the DAD and they also teach the German la language at a Magrubinian University. We have at the moment two lectures in Tunisia, one lecture in Algeria and also one le lecture in Morocco. And um, our main activity is that we offer information about study and research in Germany and we do it in a different way. It means that we offer info days or info session like today online. We do it also at the universities when they apply, uh, when they uh, invite uh, us. We um, take part in other academic uh, events um, where we uh, will be uh, invited. We offer consultings for universities and institutions because the DAD has a very big number of cooperation programs. We are a very close partner um, to different ministries and also to the industry. And we offer different organizations, different um, events like networking events for, for, uh, for example, um, university partners, um, for alumni, the former uh, scholarship holders. Um, we offer trainings for university teachers and advanced students. We do different events, marketing. So our um, uh, spectrum of the activities is really very broad. Let's be now a little bit more concrete. So you've got some information about our organization and uh, the activities. Now we will be a little bit more concrete and have a closer look on our uh, funding programs. We offer different scholarship programs for different levels and today we will have a focus on the master level, on the PhD level and on the postdoc level because there are programs where the application deadline will be very soon and where you need to do your application via the DRD portal. Let's begin with the master level. We offer regularly every year study scholarships for foreign graduates, it means that you need to have a first um, diploma in your home country in the field of architecture and arts. And um, if you have already done a first degree in your home country with excellent grades and you are willing to do a master's in architecture or arts in English or in German, then you can apply for such a program. Um, it's uh, important that you that you check the different uh, fields that we offer um, because uh, in, in architecture we have the deadline 30th of September. In arts we have three different uh, fields with three different deadlines. The next will be in September and also in November. Um, in the case you want to apply for this program, you need to check first of all, or to look first of all for a study program in the field you want to do your master's degree. You need to check the language. What is the language that is needed? Do I have the level that, that is needed? Will I study in German or will I study in English? And um, then you need to check the requirements. What are the documents that I need to prepare? And then you respect the, the deadlines and further information for all four programs we offer here in this field um, are available on our um, scholarship database that is called funding-guide.de and we will write it uh, now down uh, in the chat box because this will be our today's most important um, link with which we will later on work. So I will really give you only a very, very small overview about the different programs because we always 
we, we already have offered uh, an online seminar where we have talked uh, in a more detailed form about the programs today. I will put the focus more on, um, on the practical side. The program research grants is also an annual program for um, young researchers who have um, who want to do a PhD in Germany or parts of their PhD in Germany or also a postdoc uh, for with a short stay uh, at a German university. So we have here um, three different types of uh, a program. We have the full doctoral program, we have the binationally supervised program and the one year grant. And um, if you have finished at least um, uh, your master's degree uh, and you want to do a whole, whole PhD or parts of your PhD in Germany, then you are uh, invited to apply for this program. If um, you have already finished your PhD and you want to benefit from a short stay um, uh, until six months uh, at a German uh, research lab, then you can also apply for this program. And the application deadline is very, very soon. So you still have one to three days to apply for it. 30th of August will be the deadline. If you haven't uh, uh, already begin to prepare your application, then it will not be able, you will not be able to, um, to, to manage it, to, to apply um, into three days uh, for this program. But if you have already prepared the documents, then the next three days will be okay to prepare the rest of your application. Um, we are looking here for excellent uh, researchers um, from all fields. So uh, there's no field restriction um, and, um, and there's also no language restriction. So we, yes, there is because we, uh, you can do here your search in German or in, uh, in English and for both options we need um, a uh, certification and you need always an invitation letter from a German from a German lab with the research proposal um, and, and, and your timeline. So these are the most important documents. There are still um, some other documents um, that you need to prepare. And um, here once again the link funding minus guide is also important for you because you will find the detailed description there and I'll show it to you later on. We have also a new program. It's not so new, but now we have it since uh, almost uh, two years. The ERA Green Hydrogen Fellowships for international PhD, master students, and also for postdocs. And if you uh, want to do a master's or uh, parts of your master's degree or parts of your PhD or parts of your postdocs in a field that is related to green hydrogen. So you don't need to work directly um, in the field of green hydrogen, but you need that there, there should be a relation to uh, green hydrogen. Then you can apply for this program. It's uh, now open since I think two weeks with the application deadline for the masters, 5th of November for PhD and postdocs. Uh, the application can be uh, submitted at any time, so we do not have um, a deadline. And um, the program is only open for candidates coming from Tunisia, from Morocco and also from Algeria. So this was a selection of our most important programs for our region. There are still a lot of more programs that could not be presented by me today because we want to be a little bit more concrete today. You find all the, um, uh, all the detailed descriptions of uh, the program on our scholarship database. We have at the moment 179 programs for the whole world. Of course, you need to select it more and say, I'm only looking for programs um, for, uh, for, uh, for Tunisians. Um, uh, I just want to do an internship. I want to do studies. I want to do my PhD. I want to do a postdoc. So you need to specify it. And then you will find all the programs that are um, related to your profile. So the, our scholarship database is today the most important link for you. So these were the programs. 
with our scholarship database. Now I would like to show you how you can do your application and I will present you one model. I will present you one, um, one example how you can prepare it and I will um, share now my screen with you. Let me just wait a little bit. So we will go through our link, fundingmindsguide.de. I will just check always with the second screen. Then you will get either the German version or the English version. We will rest on the English version. And as you can see, we have 179 different programs. If you have the concrete name of the programs, you can write it down here, like green hydrogen or research grants, or I don't know. If you do not know the name, then you can say, I'm looking for a program for doctoral candidates. I'm coming from Algeria and I'm working in the field of natural sciences. And I only want to have the DRD funding programs because as a service, we put here also programs that are offered by other German organizations. Um, you can check them by yourself. I will not present them to you. And I will respond now my selection. From 179, I found nine scholarship options. There's the program research grants, the program research grants, doctoral programs, binationally supervised programs, GSSP, research stay, there's a second page and so on. So I will present you one program. This is the program research grants, doctoral programs in Germany. This is the full PhD in Germany. And you will find, first of all, an overview. It's really very, very important that you read carefully the information. So you have here normally all the information about the duration, about the value of the funding, um, about this uh, selection process and about the funding opportunities. On the second um, button, you have here the application requirements. What requirements must be met that you can apply for this program? And you have here all the information. You have also more information here, important scholarship information. If you click on it, you will um, be directed to another uh, document. Please read it carefully. And the third button is one of the, the most important, in my opinion, because we find you, first of all, the information about the application deadline, as you can see for this year, 13th of August, 2024. Then you get also the information about the selection date and the information about the early start of funding that will be in October, 2025. It's a long selection procedure because we do the pre-selection here uh, in our region and then the final selection in January in 2025 and then you will get the uh, information between February and March, and there are some paperwork to do, some preparations to do that you can uh, uh, begin earliest in October 25. And now the documents that are uh, needed. Um, so we do not need any uh, certifications or legalizations. This is not needed. We will ask for them maybe once you will be selected, but during this, uh, the selection process, there's no need to do it. Um, but you have here all the documents that you can, that you need to prepare. And if there is one document missing, then unfortunately we cannot ex uh, accept your application. That's why it's really important that you prepare all the documents that I have marked now here. So these are all, these are all the documents that you need to prepare. Okay. A research report. Let's begin an application form as curriculum vitae, uh, CV, um, list of publications, if applicable, if you have it. Okay. If not, it's not a must, um, your, um, description of uh, your, um, academic and personal reason reasons. Um, for, for the planned project in Germany, it's a letter of motivation, a research proposal. We will give you later for further information about this and so on. So you need really to read it. A school leaving certificate, this is always 
a document where I'm really always surprised because uh, um, uh, the, the interested persons ask me, what is a school living certificate? And this is normally very clear for me. It's a baccalaureate, baccalaureate, le document du baccalaureate. Um, this is also needed and so on. And if there's something missing, so you, uh, I'm sorry, um, the um, English certificate is also important. So you can uh, um, give us a TOEFL, an IELTS, or an onset. Any other um, language test is not accepted. And if you are not uh, understanding one of this document, if there is a doubt, if there is a question, please contact us. There are still three days to ask us and we will try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Um, and uh, if, uh, if you, but if you will um, just um, ignore one of these documents, then it's missing. And in this case, we cannot accept your application. There are still some notes here for you that you need to read. Then the contact and consulting, if you are from Algeria, then it's our office. If you are from Tunisia or from Morocco, there are also um, information about lecturers that you can uh, contact. And last but not least, if you want to submit your application, you need to click on the green button that is now in blue, submitting an application. And this is now really very, 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 very helpful because before you can apply via our portal, you need to register. And if you do not understand how to register, then we have prepared you here a document with lots of screenshots and information in order to understand how you can uh, inform study and mm, save in order to understand how to register. And um, you have here all the information and the, you have the tips the account details, how to reset your password, how to change the language maybe because our portal is in German or in English. You have here some helpful tips about maybe the browser you can use and before you start you have here also some other tips and then you have here the different screenshots, welcome to my DAD, how to do the login, how to register, the screenshots that you will see and so on. It's really very, very helpful, helpful, and I recommend that you use it. If you have finished the registration, then you uh, need to prepare a recommendation form because you will need um, a recommendation form um, that you will give to your university teacher to ask him or her to complete it. And here you find the information how you can upload the recommendation form. And the third step you need to do is that you apply. Then you have, once you have read all the information, you have prepared here all the documents, everything is ready, then you have registered, you have, uh, you have um, uh, uh, generated the recommendation letter or the recommendation form, you have got it from your university teacher, then you need to apply. And if you have some doubts, if you don't know how to do it, we have here also prepared for you a document about the application procedure, how to select the funding programs, about the application form, about the project, and every step is always indicated with information, first of all, with links, and then also uh, you have the screenshots for every step. It's really normally, I think it's really glass clear. So, and now you have here the application button, research grants, you can check once again the program because sometimes we get two or three applications because you say, oh, I've done a mistake. I didn't want to apply for the doctoral program, but for the binationally supervised program, that's why please be careful to choose the right program here. Um, and you click on, you read the, 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 um, the program name once again, and then you click here on the button to the application portal. And then 
we need to wait a little bit. Sometimes it's a little bit slow. And then we have here this uh, mask. If you still do not have an account, you need to do it here. Register now. If you have forgotten your password, it's always here. Also the right place. Um, but I have here an account and I will sign in. And then we need to wait. You always have here the three buttons that indicate they, they indicate to you that you need to be a little bit patient. And then still waiting. It's really very slow today. So you need to accept the cookies. First of all, I've accepted them. So and the portal is very intelligent because you have seen at the beginning, we have the, the portal is linked to our scholarship database. We have given already some information. So we said we want the program research grants doctoral program. I'm from Algeria. Uh, I want to go to Germany and maybe I will do, uh, I want to do a research. So we need to wait. It's really very, very slow today, but this is my internet connection. So we have here the information, as I've said, because it's linked to, um, to, to our scholarship database. Then you need to accept our conditions. Of course, you can read them. You need to read them. First of all, the data protection notice and the application. Um, conditions, you need to accept them. If you don't accept them, then uh, you will get a problem. And then you need to give here um, the information about yourself. Uh, uh, all, all the uh, information is here needed and you need to give your address, your email address and so on. And you need to go then if once you have filled in all these um, fields, then you click on next and you go to the next step and the next step and the next step. Um, I will not show you to now all the steps because uh, I think it's really clear. You have, first of all, the personal data, then the project data, then the academic and career, uh, professional experience, the language skills, and so on. And uh, at the end, you have here the attachment. This is number seven. Once you are at the attachments, then it needs that you will upload the documents you have prepared at the beginning. And uh, regarding the, uh, the letter of recommendation form, you need to click here on create the letter of recommendation form. You need to wait, you always need to wait a little bit. So, and then you can uh, create this letter. You need to give some information about you, you about the program. I have here another, um, um, presentation that I have done uh, some uh, months ago. That's why you can see here the COSPI program. Um, but you need to give uh, more information from when to when do you want, what is the program you are applying for, what is the name of your uh, of the referee. The referee is the person who will write you this, uh, this, um, this letter. And then you click on create the letter of recommendation and then you have it. So it's really very, very, very easy. Um, this was already the last step I wanted um, to show you during this presentation. For the um, application, I would like to give you one other information. If you have any technical problem, then you need to um, contact our technical support. And our technical support is at the, at the moment only available via email. There's no possibility to call them at the moment. And um, the email address is the following portal at did.de. We'll write you in the chat box this email because uh, it, it, it could be possible that you will have uh, some technical issues. And in this case, we as the DID in Tunisia, we are not able to support you because we are no technical, we do not have the technical know-how. I'm not able um, to help you if there is a technical issue. If you do not, if you are not um, sure about a certain documents or something like that, of course, we are there to support you. But if you have any technical issues, please contact our technical support.
Um, some suggestions for your application. Um, the first uh, information I would like to give you uh, is that you will do uh, a pre-selection for the Maghreb, and then there will be a final selection in Bonn for the whole world. Um, the DID is not um, deciding about giving a scholarship or not. We do the formal check, um, but then we have a committee who will decide about awarding scholarships or not in the Maghreb, as well as in Germany. We have experts, we have professors, university teachers, we have former scholarship holders who support us, who are from your field and who could give um, an adequate uh, information about your application. And the criteria of our application is, first of all, the academic qualification. We are always looking for the best university teachers, the best researchers, the best students. Um, so excellence is our first criteria. We also always check the research proposal. How is the proposal? Not we, but we do it uh, through our um, committee. Um, how was the research proposal? Is it is it logical? Is it uh, is it important for the country? Is it important for Germany? Is it important um, for for the regional context? Um, but we also check the personality and the social skills, and that's why we um, do interviews if we will apply for a period up to six months. And of course, these language skills are also important. So you need to do your application in English or in German. One of both languages is absolutely necessary. Um, I also want to, to, um, to um, recommend you not to do your application last minute. I know that 13th of August is deadline at midnight German time. It means in Tunisia, for example, it means it will be at 11, 11 um, p.m. Um, but you need to understand if, that if you will have any technical progr uh, pro problem when you uh, when you submit your application and you do it, let's say at 7 p.m., no one from the DAD could support you. Um, every it's it's um, um, with our experience, we know that the majority will do the application unfortunately last minute. It means maybe. 13th at of uh, uh, 13th of August uh, in the evening or in the afternoon, and it could be there could be a problem because if everyone is uh, applying through the same portal, then there could be um, a technical issue and no one could support you. So we really um, recommend you to um, to to not do it uh, last minute. Um, it's also important that you offer us an academic CV and not a normal CV uh, with a photo from the beach or something like that. I'm just caricaturing uh, a little bit of the situation. And um, can we uh, copy the links and put them uh, in the chat box? Maybe you need to open the presentation uh, through the partage. There are two links that we can recommend you and we'll write them down um, in the chat box. Um, that give you maybe a direction how you can do it. We also recommend always the Europass um, CV. It's uh, always uh, also helpful. And if you need to submit a research proposal, we uh, will also give you a document at the end of the presentation that you can download and where you will find also lots of good tips how to write a research proposal for the DAD. So I'm now at the end of my presentation. I've seen that there are really lots of um, questions and I will try to answer all your questions together on the big screen. You have here some useful links like our website, dd.tn, dd.de, some other useful links that you can screenshot if you are interested in. And maybe meanwhile, I will um, check now your questions. We have a couple of minutes, 20 minutes approximately. And let's begin, Hint, from your screen. Okay. Um, 
stress question from Besma. I made a mistake while um, submitting my application. I selected graduates instead of doctoral candidates in the application form. The application is already sent. How can I fix this? Um, it's not a problem, Besma. It's just a small detail. It, uh, it will not harm the application. Imen, please. Also, the research says for university academics, the deadline is 13th of August. Yes, it's also for the program research stays. Research stays is only for postdocs. Farah, for the structural program, fully funded PhDs, do we need to register in the DAD platform for a scholarship or is it funded by the host organizations? So it depends. We can, we can fund such an application, but if, for example, the graduate school where you will do this, um, this, um, uh, this, this PhD have already um, funds, then you don't need to apply via the DAD. So it depends on the situation, but we can formally fund such, uh, such, uh, such applications. Sharif, um, to apply in any program, I have to translate my documents in English and German? Nine, no, not in English and in German, in English or in German. And do I have a language certificate? If I can't make it with this year, I want to have an idea for next year. So, uh, so Sharif, um, the documents should be translated in English or in German, and you can do also a self-made um, translation. We accept it. But the condition in this case is that you put us that you or that you add an, uh, a copy of the original. For example, if you have an baccalaureate that is in Arab language, you can translate it by yourself in English or in German. If you are able to do it in English, do it in English. If you prefer to do it in German, you can do it in German. And we need to have at the same time the copy of the uh, of this Arab um, certificate, and then we can accept it. So uh, there's no need to do it uh, via an, um, a translator because we try to reduce your, the, the, your, the costs for the students as much as possible. And um, the second part of your questions is regarding the language certificate. We have talked about it. Yes, of course, you need to have a language certificate uh, in English or in German. It depends on the, uh, on, on the research uh, in, in which language you will do your research. And um, we only accept three uh, language certificate in English. This is the onset, um, the TOEFL, or the IELTS. Um, Sene, for the translations of documents to English, is it needed to be translated through a process or is one translator? I've already answered this question. You can do it by yourself or by a one translator as you want, but if you will choose the self made, translations, please don't forget to add the copy of the original. So, okay, I continue there. Okay. Um, uh, are these programs for doctoral only or also master? So the master program that we have at the moment that is open is the program in the field of arts and architecture and green hydrogen. These are the three fields that we have at the moment. For the rest, it's open for PhDs and postdocs. Um, once, can I apply for a DAD scholarship and I'm still a student in a master's degree? Yes, if you want to do a PhD and you will finish, let's say, your, um, your master's degree by the end of this year, you can apply for it. If you will finish only in 2025, then you cannot apply for it this year. You need to uh, postpone it for next year. Hassan? I have a five year engineering degree from Tunisia. Is this degree equivalent to a master's degree in Germany or is it just a bachelor's degree? Normally it's equivalent to a master's degree, but it's always the university will decide about it. Sane, if I submit for a DAD um, postdoc fellowship and get the DAD scholarship, any changes of the fellowship starts date, is it possible? I didn't know. I don't know if I if I uh, get your question well, but I think you asked if you um, can change the date of the fellowship. And normally, if this was your question, then normally yes, it's possible to adjust later once you are accepted to adjust the date. If I if I didn't get your question well, you need to uh, explain it to me once again. Zakaria from Morocco. I'm Moroccan. Is it mandatory to translate documents in English or Germany? Yes, we have, or in German? Yes, we have uh, answered it. Tasneem, can I apply? And I'm still undergraduate. 
for which program do you want to apply? If you are an undergraduate and you want to apply for the program uh, Green Hydrogen, then it's possible. Um, if you want, uh, if you are undergraduate, it means you are now undergraduate and you will get your um, diploma in the next uh, months. Then, then it's possible. If not, then no. Um, application treatment procedure: How many days or months will it take? So I show uh, you. Um, uh, the, 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 the timeline approximately, so you will apply for the program research grants and research stay. You will apply by the end of August. We will do the um, first selection between October and November. We'll finish the first selection by the end of by the month of December. Then we'll have in January um, the second step of selection in Germany, and uh, then you will get the answer between February and March to begin the language course, maybe in June, and begin your studies earliest in October 25. Um, Sharif, is there an age limit for master's degree? Does some university require limit perhaps we do not for our scholarships we do not have an age limit but we have an uh, a limit for your for the career model it means that the last diploma should not be older than six years um nor who and how can i apply i'm an engineering student from tunisia when and how can i apply so we have showed you um the different programs so we uh, we have we we are not able today to present you all our programs, but um, you can. You have two ways to identify whether there is a program that fits your, to your profile. We have offered an online seminar that is available on our YouTube channel, DRD Tunisie, which is with, that is called um, DRD Scholarship Program, something like that. Or you enter directly to our um, to our. Um, uh, scholarship database um, that is available here and we have marked it uh, several times today and we have write it down on our scholarship uh, on the chat that is called funding-guide.de you find their scholarship um, programs that are offered from um, um, uh, by the DAD but also scholarship programs that are offered through other German organizations. Lubna? Are uh, all the available scholarship for next year or are there any opportunities sooner? So I've explained it as well. We do not have today the intention to present you all our programs. We do not have the time for it, but for the next programs that will have, they will have um, a very soon um, application deadline and where you need to do your application via the portal. And I've already uh, answered it, how you can identify uh, the other programs. Um, questions from a question from Lubna uh, is the EPTIS ESO qualification recognized and can I use it to apply? So I do not understand this um, uh, this qualification. I do not know this qualification. Maybe you need to, to send me an email. We will write you down in the chat box our email address info at the ID.dn and in this case I will check it with my colleague um, this qualification if we can. Uh, uh, accepted or not uh, for us it's always important that you have your um, uh, baccalauria um, uh, this is um, the, the first qualification that we need for the for other qualifications i need to to check it from ml is it possible to apply for multiple programs with DRD scholarships um, normally it's possible but you need to be careful we have one program that is called research grants for which we have three different types if you will here apply for three types, you need to um, you need to decide for which type you want to send your application. In this case, it's only possible to apply for one type because it's in the in the truth, it's one program with three different under programs. That's why in this case, it's not possible to apply for for three programs here. Um, can people um, from Tunisia re Residing, residing in Germany, apply. Ah, residing in Germany, apply for a DRD scholarship. Um, you need uh, uh, so you need not to be longer than fifteen months in Germany, and then you can apply for uh, for a program. Um, so the fifteen months should not be um, should should not be marked. 
Gwen, I'm a fifth year automation engineering student in a polytechnic uh, in Algeria and I will graduate in 25. What will be the best approach in order not to have a gap year? Um, so it's a little bit difficult to answer you this question now because I can offer you our programs and I ask you to have a closer look on our scholarship database, funding-guide.de and uh, you check whether there is a program that fits to your profile. Um, you need to, um, to see the deadlines and if you will graduate in 25, um, you cannot apply this year. So the gap should, could not be avoided through the DAD. Maybe you, can, you need to think about it, what to do during this period. So it's not, um, it's not the task of the DAD to, uh, to, uh, to, to let you avoid this gap, but uh, maybe you need to, um, um, to use this time and to do qualifications that are important for your research career uh, in order not to lose a time or in order not to have such a gap. Maria, we need an English proficiency certificate in case of uh, research stays. No, for the program research stays, <coughs> there's no um, language certificate needed. So I'm sorry. <coughs> Only for the program um, research grants, you need to have an um, English certification, but for the program research stay, we do not ask about a research uh, language certificate. Malik, are candidates allowed to work while doing their PhD? If yes, what is uh, the hour rate allowed? Um, so you're normally um, allowed to work and normally um, you have, um, you can have a small job with, uh, where you can touch up to 500 euros. Um, but for PhD candidates, there are also other, um, uh, other exceptions. Uh, it means that uh, there is, there are possibilities that you, um, can also touch more, um, than the 500 euros. Sabrine, does the COSPI program apply to all engineering students regardless of the university or does it specifically uh, targeted uh, certain faculties? COSPI is only open for um, engineering students coming from Tunisia. Um, we accept uh, students from all uh, ECOLs and all um, institutions that offer, uh, that offer an um, cycle d'ingénieur. And uh, we have at the moment uh, four German universities that um, take part in this program and uh, who can host the Tunisian students. But we will have in October normally a new call where um, also other German universities can apply for it. So there will be maybe a change for the next um, for the next call. Uh, Ramzi, research short stay. There are three deadlines. No. For Tunisia, not. We only have one deadline. This is always in August. Warfare, I have a PhD in English studies. Do I still need um, a TOEFL? Um, yes, normally you will need it. Uh, only if you have done a study program um, that uh, was taught completely in English. So you can send me an email. We check your case and uh, I can check it with my colleague. But normally if you have done um, we will check it. We will check it because your case is really very special. Um, is this what, webinar will be saved? Yes, it's registered and it will be um, available on a couple of days on our YouTube channel DRD Um Is it a template for the tabular CV? So there's not a template, but we have put you already the two links of our recommendation and I also recommend the Europass CV. And in this case, you have a, you have a template that you can use. Europass CV, CV is always a good address. Zakaria, is it mandatory to translate documents in English or Germany? Yes, it's mandatory. Otherwise we cannot accept your application. We saw, um, uh, are there any available scholarships for Ausbildung with a BTS diploma? I'm sorry, I cannot inform uh, today about um, Ausbildung. It's not our field. Uh, it's not the field of the DAD. 
Aisha, can I do a second master's in a different field? Um, I have already studied one in my home country. Theoretically, it's possible, but you need to check if there's a program that fits to your profile. Salman, what level is required in German language to accept university studies? Normally, it's a level between B2 and C1. It depends on the program we'll choose. Um, Iman, does the publications will be included in the CV or not? Because they demand a list of publication as another document for the academic research stay. Yes, for the research stay, we will need um, a separate document where you will put your publications. For the research grants, it's, um, it's, it's mandatory, but for the program research stay, it's, um, it's mandatory. Um, we continue immediately, just one moment. Umayma, I'm a recent graduate in computer engineering and I want to study for a master's degree in Germany. Are there any programs currently open for admission? So in this case, we uh, advise you to, um, to um, check our scholarship database. You can see it here, funding-guide.de to check if there is a program that fits to your profile. Then Tasneem, are there programs for undergraduates? Um, yeah, there's the program Hochschule um, Sommer course, um, summer courses to learn German. And we will offer you in the next months uh, a special online seminar about it. That's why we didn't um, talk about it today. Um, Yasmin, what are the deadlines for masters? Please, please check our scholarship database. We are not able today to present all the programs with all the details about them. But once again, really on fundingmanusguide.de, you will find all the important programs. So there are still lots of more questions, but I will not be able to finish all of them. I would like to give you now two or three information. First information is that we have put you here um, the, the the two documents that you, that we, we we have prepared for you. You need to download them. Uh, just click on them, and then you can download them. It's uh, very fast, and you need to do it because we will not be able to send them to you. And second information we'll offer you here. Um, um, the information about our availabilities. First of all, you can see our email address info at did.dn. We'll write you down also um, uh, our uh, phone number, how you can um, benefit from our consultation that will take place uh, every Wednesday from 2 to 4 and also on our website did.dn. Plus uh, Vergabe System. Um, and uh, every Friday morning from 10 to 11.30. And uh, you can call us if there are problems, if there are questions, if you just need to have a small and a fast, um, you know, uh, and a fast um, information, just call us Wednesday afternoon and Friday morning and you find here our phone number. You can also come to our office. Do we still have for this um, Thursday um, uh, some spots for our? No. Unfortunately, for this week, all um, spots have been taken. We cannot accept you for this week, but for next week, next Thursday from 10 to 12, there will be maybe from this afternoon, or today or, to, or tomorrow. From tomorrow on, there will be some spots for next Thursday. If you want to come to our office and benefit, benefit from a personal consulting. So, um, this were the most important information. Just write us an email. If you want to talk to us directly, you have here our phone number. 52 247 um, 217 and call us Wednesday afternoon and Friday um, morning. Uh, we will be available or come to our office if um, if if uh, you want to um, have a personal um, um, consulting, but please don't come without fixing um, an appointment because in this case we cannot accept you. 
I um, I'm very, really very happy that we have passed this time together and that I was able to give you a big um, amount of information, I hope. I'm sorry that there are still lots of questions that could not be answered by me now. But as I've said, just send us an email. You can send it now and we'll try then to answer them as soon as possible during the next three days. I hope that you can benefit from, from the answer. Otherwise, if you want to call us, uh, call us tomorrow uh, in the afternoon or Friday morning and I hope it was beneficial for you. I hope that you got the information and the recording of this uh, event will be available in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow latest on our YouTube channel. Thank you once again um, for your interest, for your interaction and, uh, and for being with us and hope to, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.